right. Uh, ooh. Has something gone a bit wrong with my chat? It appears it has. Give me a sec. <clears throat> my chat gone a bit funky. I was working to find a second ago. There we go. Just you can re be redone. Right, okay, so uh time to fire the OSSC on. It would be helpful if I picked up my got my other screen ready. So give me a sec. Just pull this out. So I'm a little bit kind of overrunning today. <clears throat> with you so sources I don't need the second cam on I do need each my capture on because that's the one that we're doing with <clears throat> right so switching on the CD-ROM Turning on the system. Oh, make sure I've got the back one on. That's on. Okay. There we go. There's a bit cut off on the left, I'm not quite sure to fix that. But it should be okay. But you are seeing the 486, which is over there. Or, oh, sorry, that machine. So, what I'm going to be doing. Oh, <clears throat> this usually happens. So, I'm just going to turn a little bit <clears throat> so I can see that. So, I can see that screen there. I need to figure out why this is, does this. I don't know why it does this and then I've got to reboot it and it fixes everything. Like while it boots, mm. it's not fast, but it's well, it's a four eight six. So, we really, what are you expecting to be fair? Oh, it would be helpful if I put the uh, that's a point. What I want to do is I'm not going to capture from the OSSC because it won't, the sound won't come in quickly. Let's do that again. There we go, I've got the line in. That's what we want. Okay. Let's go 
wait for the CD-ROM to stop reading. Right, that should be fine. Whilst I think about it, I need to put on the game name. We'll dip into Windows, um, in fact, for a while because I'm going to dip into Windows to fix something and then we can. Right, cross your fingers that this is going to work. Yep, that's fine. Just a one. That's two things I need to do. I need to take the pause off. Do I actually know? Because I really want to see whether the CD ROM is working. <clears throat> So I'm going to quickly nip into Windows. Hopefully you heard that. Yeah, you did. Cool. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is set up Castle of Windows 2. Because I do have it. Um, everything um, one thing I want to point out here in this is just to show you what the screen resolution that's a thousand and twenty four by 768 now as far as I remember uh, I think we could get resolutions like that on our, on our, on our old 386 but a monitor just was just like no we're not gonna do it but the good thing about modern monitors is we can get more mes resolution now and this is going through um, my uh, LCD screen and um, yeah it's uh, pretty crisp I don't know if it's crisp on your machine because I'm looking at it does look a bit fuzzy I don't know why it looks this fuzzy on the um, on this because I'm running this through an OSSC whether that's causing an issue I don't know Shouldn't be. Should be okay. But I suppose it's one of those things that somebody can tell me what the issue is and I can fix it later on. But uh, we'll have to see on that one. Anyway, so that's that fixed. Command prompt. I couldn't see the command prompt because me, uh, me, um, me mic was in the way. Let me just shift it just a little bit. All right. Okay. Mm -mm. So we're into December, and we are playing Iron Assault. Um, let's quickly show not that one. There we go. So this is Iron Assault we're going to play. 
I'm just going to grab the CD. And it's a sold out version. And as you can see, it's right here, the sold out version. Um, sold out being the kind of, um, what do you call it? Um, Re I can't remember what you call them. Um, re Re-release, that's what I'm trying to think of. Whilst I'm here, I'm just going to quickly go on the web. I'm going to fire up the... Where's the browser? I'm going to quickly find... So I am a soul manual. Looks like I found it on archive.org. I do. Really. Okay. Even though the thing doesn't scale properly. Let's have a quick look. So the system requirements for this needed to be, it was at a 386. Um, system requirements was a 386 30, 3 megahertz. Uh, dual speed CD-ROM and I currently have a 6 read um, 4 meg of RAM at least 580 conventional ad lib or sound master um, keyboard mouse and joystick control available uh, personally though I need to find I don't think it's actually easy just to do it on here because as much as I like the pad give me a sec it's a bit too small screen for me to look at uh, there we go better much bigger keyboard commands nine there we go So we got, it says numeric keypad for those, slide left, right, one, three, uh, turn left, turn right, four, six, so we could use the arrow keys, but I've got a feeling it's going to be better to use the um, number pad. Uh, accelerate, decelerate is eight and two. Reverse speed, uh, two or down arrow, but you've got to be at zero kilometer per hour, that's fine. Rotate head left and right, so that's 7 and 9. Move crosshair up and down with the plus and minus keys. Uh, center head and crosshair, which is a good thing to know, is the um, asterisk key. Fire current weapon is space bar, or you could use the left mouse button. Uh, lock target is enter, change weapon beam backspace. I know you've got loads of function keys, but we'll look into that later, because we'll need to know what those are. Um, just let me get the wiring out of the way. Okay, let us. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. I'm gonna reinstall this just because I like to see install programs. Let's 
that's in there. So we're on the E drive. Uh, it's not set up 95, it's just in this stall, I believe. So we've got English, E to C, iron. Because that's fine. Copy from disk E, yep, yeah, please. Uh, existing directory, because there's already one there, because you already created it, but I'm going to redo this anyway. Alright, that's that done. Uh, the sound control device, I'm going to go. I have to use mouse. Java joystick. Uh, sound card is going to be a sound blaster. And that should be it. So we're already in the iron directory. The stench of destruction hung heavy in the air. Millions had already perished in the most destructive war the world had ever witnessed. A war not fought with guns and missiles, but with giant and deadly machines. Giant Tech Corporation vowed to crush anything in its way in its pursuit of world domination. A brave few had fought against all odds to repel the horrific onslaught. A band of rebels who have been able to amass a force strong enough to fight back, possibly even win. The fate of the world lies with you and your brave band of rebels. So yeah, apologies for the cutting here and there, but I think that was just for the CD and it reading the data. But uh, there you go. That's the intro to the Iron Salt. Very um, it's very um, stop motioning. Um, yeah, very stop motioning and. I was going to say something else and I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a mech type game. Uh, let's look at the controls. That's fine, everything's on. We didn't have much to look for. I might as well start the game. Right, so we'll start with a new pilot. Call sign. I'll use my other my other nickname. There we go. Let me just click resume. Unicorn Base America, February twentieth, twenty ninety four. I think that is. Right. So around here, you can come out to the corridor. You can exit. Uh, look in the log, which I don't think I'll have anything in it. And this basically, excuse me, this basically shows you all the um, missions you've completed or not. And you've got WNet, which is basically telling you what's going on. Right, so we're gonna have a look at the news. It says, Welcome to our base. We're glad you to see our new guys willing to fight for us. 
You'll be allocated light missions during your initial period of duty. Good luck. That's uh, for good mission. Uh, you've been assigned to a light attack raid in a patrolled area. Destroy only external enemy forces and return immediately. Uh, primary destroy all frog units outside. So remember rightly, frog units are very uh, light forces. And it's right click to hold down to move the map around. And it's a small map as you can see there. Normal enemy activity inspected inside the zone. Most probable defect enemies are going to be frogs, which is, I'm assuming that's what they're going to be. Yeah, armament. Uh, did I change these? So you can change this to, well, later on you can change it, but at the moment you can't. You can change these ones. 15 package, 60 package. Oh, sorry. 60, the amount. Uh, six, that's the amount, that's the damage. So that's lowest, highest. I think we should be okay with that. Or maybe, is it a snake? Oh, we could just leave it a snake. It should be fine. And you can switch between the walker and a doggy. And I think. So this has got less radar, very faster, a bit more armoured, let's take the uh, more armoured one. Alright, so now we've made those selections, we can go out to the corridor, we've got mission there. We've got simulator which basically shows you how it all works and then you've got your room there uh, and that's about it um, but this is kind of more arcade than anything else cargo vector set ready for takeoff and we shouldn't have any problems Proceed, cargo. Right, so I can move around on these. Um, I'm just sliding, as far as I remember. Uh, let me have a quick look on. That's whilst I kind of pause it and just double check the manual. So the radar, that's what I wanted. So we've got map scanner, which I'm going to switch to. That's the F2 status. F3 is the status for your mech. Uh, gives you a missile locked enemy status. Countermeasures. I don't think we're going to need all that at the moment. So I think I'm just going to put uh, F2 on. So let's press escape again. F2, and that shows you the map there. Helpful if I didn't um, crunch into the wall. Just seen an enemy down the below. did kind of pick that up. Played this. 
sneaking around there. Threat that goes off tells you there's someone around. Speed up because Got him. We go. That unit's out of this fight. I'll tell you when you've completed the mission. I'm not doing too badly for damage. kind of lined up ready for being shot at which is good means that the mission is a lot easier just gotta get back to the um, landing zone point or the pickup point
Unless I've got to do a full stop over there, which would make sense. Where am I supposed to be going? Let's have a look. F8 mission objectives. I've got that done. Press F10. Oh, okay. Yeah, look why. Your location has been verified. We're on our way. I think that's all I needed to do was press F10 to so exit the mission. I should be okay. That's the victory music. Uh, location Chicago. Results. Primary objective reached. Any eight enemies destroyed. Um, reach all the mission objectives. Your unit is in perfect shape. Our mechanics will appreciate this. Yeah, they won't layer though. Right, so let's look at the news. Warning, a dangerous unit has been reported in your war zone. The model, the, the model 007 is a medium unit that has a powerful equipment and can travel at high speeds. Do not make contact unless otherwise instructed. This base was recently been giving us some problems. We feel that if we can penetrate their defenses and destroy any enemy, enemy activity, the enemy will be more careful before starting your attacks. Destroy all enemies inside the base and destroy enemy, enemy activity outside. So primary destroy all units outside. Oh, sorry. Primary all units inside, secondary outside. Let me rephrase that. Primary destroy all units inside the combat zone, so that's outside the base and then do all the ant units inside the base, right, okay, I get it, yeah. So we're saying normal enemy activity inside the war zone, frog and ants. Uh, still use the doggy because it's heav more heavily armoured. It's recommended to fly M's. With a damage of 7, but I get 60 in the package. 
Yeah, okay, that's fine. And I don't have anything on the light gun, that's fine. Let's do this mission. Probably going to be a lot of them patrolling. So we've got eight units outside and four units inside, that's what it looks like. careful with the um, missiles because they do tend to waste them a bit. right direction. Right indicator is not opened up yet. There we go. It's fine. There's another one near to me.
problem is it's finding where the other ones are. I do have two left on the outside. So if they're going to be patrolling up around here. Actually, no, it'll be around here. It's the waypoint there. Doing a bit of weaving in and out just to see if I can spot something shifting. Alternatively, I can just go into the uh, inside and just take out the um, frog units and come back out again. It might be a better idea. I think I can just... No, nope, not that one. What's the change weapon? Backspace. Now the scanner changes a little bit there. Yeah, the uh, 
makes a little off. and find the other two frog units before the mech goes bye bye Let's see if we can zoom the map soon Find it easy to control this now. What makes it worse is I haven't completed the mission. Find out where these frog units are. Should have just used the radar in the first place because that would have been easy to locate the um, units that I need to find. But no matter. found something. Get ahead. It's the last two we're looking for. Reminded to myself, use the radar when I need to. Your location has been verified. We're on our way.
so we've achieved both uh, results, as we already know. It was in Philadelphia, apparently. And uh, the mech will be fixed in a few days. News, bad news today. One of our patrols on duty in Africa has been completely destroyed by uh, in, an, in an enemy ambush. We must take more care if we want to win this dirty war. The corporation will pay for this. So the mission. Corporation is organizing an attack against one of our outposts. We have to stop all of the enemies inside the war zone before they leave their mission. So it's another similar inside and outside mission medium any enemy activity for organites. so relatively okay keep the same loadouts just check there's nothing new no okay I can actually look at the log and see. Yeah, and this tells you all the successful missions you've had. frog units and four ant units so I'm assuming the ant units will be inside the structure as usual. Let's get the radio out because it'll be more useful. says two more left Alive. 
Right, okay, so we need to go to the inside bit. There's no radar inside, just gotta use the map. Actually, over whilst hitting the enter key, and that's the lock target which you've seen me use before. Four frog units, as I remember. Oh, threats is something around. Patrolling at the end. It's going right at the end, I can see it. I can't lock on to it yet. Right next to me. Fuck. Ah, that's why I can't target, because my targets are out. And did I die? Yep. Just as I got the last one as well. Fucking hell. You are dead. The rebels were in desperate need of brave fighters and their best has been killed. Re 
freedom of the world is lost. I should be able to reactivate the uh, pileup. We'll have to see about that. Anything else? No. Okay, that's fine. So that's KIA, so I should be able to resume. <coughs> it's 26 now instead of. Was it? I'm sure you can't. Or do I start again? an interesting point. No. So, uh, that's fine. It's, I just basically re, um, start from the last point he was killed. should be the same anyway. Still okay, that's good. So as long as I can kill the next four without much damage, it'll be fine.
Oh, I see. You're sneakily waiting there, are you? Sneakily get you there. Still doing okay. We've got one more frog unit to go. This one's hiding pretty well. Not seeing much of the yellow dot on the screen. Right. Ooh, is that him down there? Yes, it is. You can see it's now gone red because that's because I've targeted the. Target him. So, come on. Sneak out or not? But, wasn't quite sure if I'd managed to, um, hit him, but I did. Good news is the mech's okay though. It's the frog units that seem to be a bit more lethal with it. Um, where am I going? Straight ahead basically. Okay, down here. So when we get to the other end, Okay. 
trying to kind of see if we pick him off from a distance, but I think that's just a bad idea of all around. waste of ammo but I've managed to do it with not too much bad damage to myself and there's no way to get a call from in here I don't think I'll double check but I'm pretty sure you can't yeah there's no F10 doesn't do anything so you need to be outside anywhere to be honest. That was Boston. Light damages, not too bad. We kind of knew that anyway, but yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. What's up on the news today? A new weapon is at your disposal from this today. It's a uh, the WSRM, I think it is, light missile. It's a powerful weapon against any armored threat. It will prove it will prove to be a good ally in your future battles. Medium enemy unit has been sighted around this area. It's a big danger for our light units that are being used to patrol the zone. Find and destroy the unit, search the depots and collect any useful materials. So this is the 007 one that we're talking about. That's primary mission. Second group, penetrate and search the depots and pick up any crates. So we've got a depot there. So it's going to be in the middle, I think. So if I kind of go this way a little bit and avoid it, see what that's I mean it's a secondary mission anyway then prime mission's gotta be 007 mm. medium enemy activity expected 007 and then okay Oh cool, so it's the same package as same 60. So I might as well just switch to that anyway. Still got those two.
I can vaguely remember this. Uh, I can't remember how well I did in it though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and go around. In fact, let me just see. Yeah. Might kinda go up this way. So I'll go around here. I was hoping to avoid a 007, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Expecting one of those. I was actually expecting an ant.
there's a crate. Question is, do I walk into it or? Let me just check the manual. Oh, I do apologize if Ray didn't notice you'd raided. I didn't even hear it, to be honest. Uh, this is not sense. Oh, shit. Sorry about that, Reese. Um, purple star, this is not sensey purple star. <laughs> well, everybody, hello, everybody from Reese from the stream. Um, I'm kind of skipping sensible soccer today. In fact, I'm taking part in DOS Ember and I'm using actual hardware, which is the 486 here. I will show you in a sec. Put the second cam on, which is uh, up here, and bring the camera down this way. And as you can see, that's a 486. Let me just get that out a bit more so you can see that better. There's the second cam. There we go. So we've got. Um, it's got a CD-ROM drive, which has got a game in it at the moment. Old school floppy, and this is um, it's what's known as a GoTech. So that's a floppy, floppy emulator. This is a 486, um, 66 megahertz, and currently running um, DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.11. Just move that off. Second cam off. Uh, yeah, you just know you talk about past. You used to uh, use an Ami Pro and a 386. Ami Pro, what's that? Ami Pro is that? Um, just give me a sec. It's messed up my um. One of my old Uni Electros helped to write DOS. Oh, cool. Let um, me just double check. Oh, significant competitive in Microsoft Word and Word Perfect Corporation. Was that it? So it's basically a word processor. It was a dodgy word processing package, yeah. So the game I'm playing at the moment is Iron Assault, as you can see. It's basically um it's basically mech type game, but it's more I would say it's more action y than Simulation. It does do a bit of simulation here and there, but not as well as say uh, MetQuarry would have done. And um, it's not a bad game though. I do like the uh, the intermission cutscenes where you've got kind of a bit of stop motion going on, so that's quite nice. Um, it did have a Word Perfect that worked in Dust. I've got a copy of Word Perfect actually. Let me just double check. It's not a full set of discs. Word Perfect 1, 2, I think that is. That's this here. You might not be able to see it properly, I do apologise. Um, that's Word Perfect 1, 2. Um, it's got printer discs. Well, we've got the Spell of Thesaurus disc. PTR Program Graphics 1. Hyphenation Program 1. Learning Conversion. Fonts, graphics, PTR program, and PTR program graphics one. I think I brought a range of discs in there. It's not a complete there. I've not actually tried it, so I don't know whether it does work or not. I'll have to try it at some point. But at the moment, this has got to um, Microsoft Office because why not? You know. <laughs> Right, anyway, so at the moment we're looking for, in this mission, we're looking for a crate, which I was about to find out whether me walking into it was a good idea or not. Just let me just double check the controls.
So I think I should be able to walk into it. It just is oh to pick something up move very slowly until you directly over the object then it will be automatically scooped up into the belly of your machine right okay so i've got to very slowly walk into it because otherwise i'm going to crunch into it okay this is gonna be fun right so there's the crate so i'm going to work very slowly I'm, not, I'm, I'm going as slow as I can, but... That looks like it's done. Uh, one of the keys should tell me... Yep, Bay Control got okay, uh, the crate. So, I've achieved both missions. I can kind of clear out of here now. Something's around the corner. I wonder if that's outside. Yes. I wasn't sure if it needed to stay there or not, but we've still done the mission. Right, medium damages, you should take more care of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I took on a heavy mech. What do you expect me to do? So, what's the news? Within, uh, with the equipment that you recovered in your previous mission, our scientists have developed a more powerful radar that has been fitted to all HR, HAR models. Mission? These pests are all around the war zone. Time for talking is over. It's time for action. Uh, go and destroy all the enemy units that you can find outside and then penetrate your outpost and find and destroy the medium unit. So I've got to do another 007 unit. Um, hopefully it's the only one in there. Okay. Medium any enemy activity. Frog units are uh, be reported to there fairly easy. There's no information available on enemy units inside the outpost. That's not sounding good. That's fine. Okay, so we've got the correct mech. Let's get out there and get our asses kicked. That's pretty much what we need to do. Ah, 
Right. What we got? Twelve frog units, one double oh seven. Be interested to see how many frog units are outside. Oh are we? That's in the top corner. And the 007 could either be in here or in here. And I've got a suspicion that some of the frog units are going to be in one of the bases. There's one down there. I can see it being picked up on the radar. The problem with firing is it just shit. Gotta be careful though. Come on. Got you. Groups of three by the looks of things. Got yeah. John? So I've got three more to go, I think. I've got to be careful now because I'm wasting a bit of ammo. One of 
these for the number 7. Okay, 60 of the missile, that is, oh shit. Something's coming. Show yourself. Status, by the way, not looking good. Oh, shit, what was that? I was in a threat. Out of missile range, down. And this guy's in the other. Yeah. Oh shit, no, he's there. Just suppressing the fire. Right, get out. Yes, we can. Uh, where's the escape room? We 
do have a map. Shit. That's not good. That's where we started. Let's accomplish these two before I came out. There we go. Probably gonna get told back about a text again, but hey. We did the mission though. Your location has been verified. We're on our way. Nineteen en enemy destroyed. Selena, where the hell is that? All right, your unit has de heavy damages. You're lucky to come back alive. Well, yeah, I did take on a um. I mean, I could have been. I could have been more careful about the medium mech, but I thought, fuck it. So, news. A group of new models has just arrived from the central depot. The war model is a very versatile medium unit capable of both recon and attack missions. So we've got a new map now. The corporation has reinforced its defences until recently this area was relatively quiet. Now many new units have been sighted. We must destroy your medium units in order to allow our forces to pass safely through the zone. I destroy all of the blow sevens outside, destroy all, all at inside the power posts. Okay. Excuse me. Medium enemy activity expected inside the war zone. Reported units uh, 007 and frogs. Light enemy units expected inside the outpost. Right, okay. So this is the new mech, the War 095. We have... Let's have a look. 200 on the armor, so quite a bit more. We're also on steel and durinium, but whatever that says. Slow max speed though. Um, better radar than the doggy which we were using. And we've got more um, missile points. We've got the double light gun, which makes it better, I think, than some look damage two. And the doggy damage one, yeah. So we've got a better weapon anyway. Um, got fly ends. Just gonna be rotex, yeah. All right, fine. Let's choose that.
so we've got seven oh no three double oh sevens and ten M's. Even though it mentioned frogs. Okay, that's what we see right ahead. Those so-called frogs. I know you're right around the corner. Yeah, you could also go up and up and down the mix, but you have no idea what the significance is for doing that. Maybe it's just a visual thing. But it's good to get different um, cockpits. And you can definitely see the difference in speed. took a lot of damage that one did. So I'm assuming the ants are going to be inside. That's Doris done. Who's done that? So I've got one straight ahead. Alright, I've got two to go to. So it'll be five each in each uh, blocks. Oh, well, I'm each building, should I say?
Basically coming in now, are you? Must be one. anything else but I was wrong. To the right. Thank you. 
still okay, so I'm going to take it on. No one climbing out of that mess alive. Right, so that means... Oh, there is five, okay. Felt there was a bit more than that, never mind. Right, can get out of here quickly now. And I'm not doing badly in terms of damage. Any uh, unfortunate guests? Oh, I've gone completely the wrong way. <laughs> right, so I need to go east. A cat, don't do that. Oh. Cat's just deciding to sit down on my keyboard. Right, you. You're not doing well here. Oh. Yeah. 
Starting to get beaten up now. Taking three of them though. Right, try and be careful this time. Bad on the damage. Probably wouldn't have taken a few more hits though. Right, so I think we've done the. Yeah. What time is it? Okay, so I've got enough time for maybe another mission. Because they're going to start getting your bigger. Your location has been verified. We're on our way. I don't have to worry about saving because it's part of the missions are part of where the pilot is, so. New weapon is at your disposal from today. The Waxar missile is a new fire and forget uh, target seeking missile that's been developed for use in our units. Show no mercy with this powerful weapon. Mission Two days ago, a heavy concentration of enemy forces was sighted in this area. It's an important strategic area as the cargo vessels for our, our advanced lines have to pass through this dirt zone. Destroy exter all external units and destroy all frog inside the outpost. Excuse me, sorry. So we've got two outposts really. Okay. Heavy enemy activity. 007s, light inside. Uh, okay. This is going to be an interesting mission. Actually, let's have a look at the fire forget one. Oh, cool! So it basically replaces the Rotec, and it's an image recognition guidance. So that's basically homing. Looks fine. Real.
Good luck. Right. So look what the mission objectives are. Four, fr uh, four double sevens, eight frogs. Right. But suspicion is going to be a lot more on the outside as well. I forget on this, but we'll have to see. You want some more? Stick around. Good turn there. Taking out two oh sevens. Go this way first.
Let's see what's sneaky there. Ooh, that was close.
Okay, so I need to go north. Yeah, north, I think. Round over fine. That's a lot of things around. One of them is moving. Oh, but never mind. This outpost is going to be. See you around. Is that it? There's got to be a way to get in. We have achieved both uh, objectives, Paul. There we go. Climbing out of that mess alive. 
think this is just gonna be a big circle, isn't it? Fine, at least we got rid of the forces, I suppose. Not that we needed to, but I just wasn't sure if there was any uh, thing around it that I could pick up, maybe. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Let's see that slight damage. if I've not gone through the small outpost, but hey. Uh, light damage is cool. I think there will be a point where you can actually move to the next... Um, next area um but i'm not sure where that's gonna be okay fair enough right let's get out of here that's the exit Right, okay, thanks everybody for turning up for Iron Assault. I will be play playing this again um, next week for December. Let's give me a sec whilst I show my stream, stream schedule. Uh, back again, hopefully, on Sunday for Let's Play, well, which will be Dungeon Keeper. Unfortunately, that's not part of December. Um, even though I actually think it's the Windows version. Well, I say it's a Windows version. Um, it's actually using Keeper FX to basically play the game. Um, it's like a, somebody who's basically rewritten it so that it can be done in, in Windows. Uh, then Monday will be Amiga Monday as usual. Um, what am I doing for that? I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Well, I'll probably be doing the 600 as usual. Um, do you need the, the, the 1200 is working there's some issues with it with the new card so I need to look into that um, and then obviously retro random is today and that's the, you know it's it's December so um, let's see if there's anybody um, oh whilst I remember uh, thanks also to Reese when who raided and the and the uh, chat is in the chat so that'll be Reese, uh, Hug Hugonia forty two and Kid Pule. I do apologise if I didn't if I missed it. It's just I didn't realise I'd been raided until uh, last minute. <laughs> um, what we'll do is we'll raid uh, some other December person because I know there's going to be some of us around there. Let's have a look to see who's online. Let's find someone who's doing a December stream, but the problem is I'm not quite sure how I'd find it. Dos Ember. 
um, that would be helpful if I did actually type in DOS Ember. Uh, yes, there is somebody uh, streaming at the moment playing Slipstream 500. That's uh, uh, RTM Havoc, I believe it is. So let's have a quick look to make sure they're not kind of going anywhere. Set through adverts as usual. Apologies for that. Oh yeah, that's fine. Right, that's fine. Um, I said it twice. Okay, so. Why is the Raid channel telling me that Nostalgia Nerd is on when it's clearly not on? Alright, whatever. I think that was from yesterday, to be honest. Right, so we're carrying on the, carrying on the Dust Ember Love and we're going to raid RTM Havoc, who's playing Slipstream 500, uh, 5000, sorry. And um, come on, get off the high schedule. Do apologize. Buttons don't seem to want to work all the time, right? <clears throat> so, Iron Assault next Tuesday, Mega Monday next Monday, and Dungeon Keeper next Sunday. So, thanks everybody for turning up for. Um, watching and I will see you uh, hopefully Sunday if not uh, the other two days so thanks very much and uh, see you later